big hello, I'm Ashley Bradnam. Welcome to Head to Head. I'm not going to say it would be un-Australian not to love sport, but there are some, not very far away from me, that might. The competitors on Head to Head not only love sport, but they've invested time and energy cramming their brains chock full of it. One of them this year will be crowned Australia's greatest sporting mind, and it could be Daniel Viles from Queensland but he's still got some distance to travel. We'll find out how he continues on his journey when he defends the title against the new challenger tonight. Thanks to ABC Shops, there are prizes to make any red-blooded sports fan swoon. The winner of Series 1 will be off to the AFL Grand Final and they'll earn the right to play off at the end of the year against the Series 2 champion. Now, the victor of that head-to-head -head Grand Final on that famous first Saturday in December, we'll make it famous, don't worry, they'll be flying to the UK for the finals of Wimbledon. There's plenty at stake. Let's get on with it. Let's meet our competitors. <laughs> and he's back for another week, a controversial character. Our champion is Daniel Viles. His dream is to work in radio. I didn't know that, Daniel. You want to be a broadcaster? I'd love to be a broadcaster. It'd be, um, be really fantastic here. Yeah. I've got half a feeling with your deep dulcet tones, you just need to open a window and you'd probably be open to half the city. They'd all be able to hear you, mate. You've got a very loud voice and you're not afraid to use it. And a comedian as well. Let's bring on his <laughs> opponent. challenger is Jonathan Mackay, a call centre operator from Seacliff in South Australia. His greatest sporting achievement is returning match figures of 12 for 65. Please make Jonathan welcome. <laughs> hey Jonathan. Good evening. Can I call you Jono, John? Uh, anything but John. Jono's fine. Jono's fine? Yeah. Maybe I'll stick with Jonathan. 12 for 65, I'm telling you, that's pretty good figures. What are you, a swing man, a pace man? Uh, well, well, a bit of both, you know. Some quick ones, then the massive in swinging Yorker, which on that day they missed a lot, so it's all good. Oh, well, mate, you're going to need to be on fire tonight to topple the champ. You've obviously been watching at home. How have you been faring? Um, yeah, if I lose tonight, I'll be very disappointed. Ooh, <laughs> I like this. Is that a prediction that you're going to beat this bloke? Obviously, yeah. OK, we've got two cocky contenders. Let's get started. I can't wait for this one. Let's play the first quarter of Head to Head. I love some sledging on your quiz shows. There's nothing like it. A gentle start tonight. Ten questions. They're either multiple choice or they're true or false. One point for a correct answer. No penalty for a wrong answer. Daniel, as the champion, you tee us off. You hit the hot seat. What do you make of the kid? He's got some confidence. No, he's just pointing out that at the end of the night he'll be very disappointed. <laughs> it was really quite clear to me. I'm really going to enjoy this show tonight, folks. <laughs> Don't go anywhere. Ten questions to tee us off. Good luck. True or false? Question one. Three of the four female tennis Grand Slam winners in 2004 were Russian. True. Correct. One from one for the champ. <laughs> Did you know that? I'm not telling. It's <laughs> <laughs> probably smart. <laughs> Question two, what is the nickname of the Australian men's hockey team? A, Kookaburras, B, Sharks, C, Bush Rangers, D, Hockey Roos. It's the Kookaburras. Correct. <laughs> True or false? Dawn Fraser was the first woman to swim 100 metres in less than a minute. True. Correct. In 1962. <laughs> Perfect record so far. Question four of ten in the first quarter action. Which of these players was not appointed a Swans captain for 2006? A. Barry Hall. B. Brett Kirk. C. Leo Barry. D. Nick Davis. Leo Barry. Incorrect. D. Nick Davis. A stumble for the champ. True or false? Dean Jones scored two Test cricket double centuries for Australia. True. Correct. <laughs> Which of the following did not win all four Tennis Grand Slam singles titles. A. Fred Perry. B. Roy Emerson. C. Andre Agassi. D. Pete Sampras. Pete Sampras, Mr. French. Correct. <laughs> True or false? Seve Ballesteros won the US Masters golf title twice. True. Going to give me the years as well? Can't on this one, sorry. 1980, 1983. Oh, okay. Correct. <laughs> How many Australians have won the World Formula One Drivers' Championship? A. Two. B3, C4, D5. I think it's just Jones and Brabham, so two. Correct. 
Seven from eight, we have two to go. True or false? Muhammad Ali fought George Foreman in the thriller in Manila. False. Correct. Mm. Joe Frazier. Mm. Smoking Joe. And your final question. For which sport is Cara Honeychurch known? A, table tennis. B, badminton. C, lawn bowls. D, ten pin bowling. Ten pin bowling. Is correct. And you're finished with nine out of ten. First quarter action for Daniel, the defending champion. Back to the challenger's corner for you. Looking forward to this. Our challenger hit the hot seat. I'm really looking forward to finding out what game you've got. You've talked the talk, now you need to walk the walk. Five times Daniel's been here, no one's been able to beat him yet. You've boldly stated you're going to do it. Good luck, mate. Question one of ten. An AFL club has won the Premiership from fifth place on the ladder. True or false? True. Correct. <laughs> He's off to a good start. Feel good to get that first one underway? No. <laughs> <laughs> Question two, which country held the Davis Cup for six years from 1927? A, United States, B, France, C, Great Britain, D, Australia. Great Britain. Is incorrect, it was B, France. True or false, Bangladesh has won a test cricket match. True. Correct. <laughs> How many races were there in the 2005 Formula One Championship? A, 15. B, 16, C, 19, D, 20. 16. Incorrect, 19. True or false? Miguel Ingerain won five consecutive Tour de France. False. True, incorrect. How many red balls are there in snooker? A, 12, B, 13, C, 15, D, 16. 12. Incorrect, C, 15. Was the answer we were looking for. True or false, Samantha Riley won an Olympic gold medal? False. Is correct. <laughs> How are you feeling now? I've um, got a slight rash just below the knee. This is a <laughs> bit itchy. Um. Question eight. When was tennis first included in the Olympic Games? A, 1896. B, 1920. C, 1988. D, 1992. 1988. Incorrect. It was 1896. Way back when. Two questions to go. You're on three at the moment, Jonathan. Finish it off strongly, mate. True or false? Question nine. Rod Marsh was the first Australian wicketkeeper to score a test century. True. Correct. <laughs> Your final question, first quarter. On which course is the English derby run? A. Ascot. B. Doncaster. C. Cheltenham. D. Epsom. Mm, Ascot. Is incorrect. It was D, Epsom, if you're playing at home. Jonathan, you've managed to rack up four points there. Hot seat can be an intimidating place, mate, but you've got a lot of time left to fight back. We'll ask you to go back to the challenger's corner as the defending champion takes a strong lead early. <laughs> Quarter time in the battle for the belt and the defending champion is on nine points. He leads Jonathan on four. Ever wondered how to link Don Bradman to Brazilian soccer star Ronaldo? Well, Degrees from the Don has the answer. The Don is the highest run scorer at the MCG and scored his maiden test century of 112 against England. Essendon is the most successful AFL club at the MCG with the highest win percentage and a points percentage of 112. Essendon formed a supporter partnership with Manchester United in 2003, the same year that David Beckham transferred to Real Madrid, where he now plays with Brazilian striker Ronaldo. Ronaldo, degrees from the Don, four. It's time for the second quarter of Head to Head. OK, you have two minutes to answer up to 20 questions here on your special subject, and again, there's one point for a correct answer, no penalty for a wrong answer, and you can pass. We'll return to the question if time permits. Daniel leading the way on nine, a five-point buffer at the moment. Hit the hot seat. What are we dealing with tonight? Special subject, Rugby World Cup. Hmm. What sport do you know the most about? Well, I would have said cricket before last week. 
but uh, it, was, it was an awful performance last week. You made a bold prediction last week. Daniel said he'd get 18 mm. questions correct. I think he finished with about 10. 10, it was. The head back in. Making a prediction tonight? No. Might be a wise thing. Yeah. Mm. Good luck. Two minutes on the clock. Away we go. Your time starts now. How many times has Australia been a losing finalist? Once. Correct. Who is the leading try scorer in Rugby World Cups? Jonah Lomu. Correct. Which country will host the 2011 Cup? New Zealand. Correct. Which two countries played the opening game of the 1999 World Cup? New Zealand and England. Incorrect. Wales and Argentina. Which player has scored the most points at one competition? Grant Fox. Correct. Which country did Australia play against in its last game of the 1987 World Cup? Wales. Correct. How many cups has England won? One. Correct. Which country scored the first World Cup try? New Zealand. Correct. What was the final score in the 2003 World Cup final? 2017, England 20. Correct. Who was Australia's top try scorer at the 1999 World Cup? Matthew Burke. Incorrect. Todai Kefu. Name a country that received a red card in the 1991 Cup. Canada. Incorrect. Argentina or Samoa. At the 95 Cup presentation, Nelson Mandela wore a jersey with the South African captain's number. What was it? Six. Correct. Who came third in the 1987 Cup? Wales. Correct. Who is Australia's top point scorer in World Cups? Matthew Burke. Incorrect. Michael Liner. Who said after the 1999 victory he'd buy the coach a beer for putting him on the field for 29 seconds? Pass. How many points did Matt Burke score in the 1999 tournament? 103. Incorrect, 101. Which two countries of the British Isles will host games in 2007? England and Scotland. Incorrect, Scotland and Wales. Who was the losing finalist in the 1995 Cup? New Zealand. Correct. Apart from qualifiers, which player has scored most World Cup points overall? Andrew Mertens. Incorrect, Gavin, Gavin Hastings. How many Australian players from the 1991 win also played in the 1999 final? Two. Incorrect, four. Who said after the 1999 victory, the buzz has beaten you there, I know you're playing at home, that he'd buy the coach a beer for putting him on the field for less than a minute, 29 seconds. It was Chris Whitaker, the Waratahs half-back, but a great effort from our defending champion. Can you give him a round of applause, please? <laughs> 11 points there. You've left the challenger something to chase. You lead by 16. You go back to the champion's corner. And Jonathan, hit hot seat. OK, mate, your specialty subject is the Adelaide Crows in the 1990s. You're a South Aussie boy. Mm -hmm. Obviously, the Crows are your team. Yes. All right, mate, well, let's see how you go. A lot of distance to make up here, 20 points to four. Put the two minutes on the clock, and we'll start it now. Who was named the Crows Player of the Decade? Andrew McLeod. Incorrect, Mark Rusciuto. What number <laughs> did Tony McGuinness wear? Number 11. Correct. For how many seasons was Malcolm Blight coach? Three. Correct. Who was voted club champion in 1996? Matthew Liptak. Incorrect, Tony Liptak. Against which team did Adelaide kick their highest ever score in 1997? Richmond. Correct. For how many seasons was Tony Modra the Crows' leading goal kicker? Five. Correct. Who was named captain of the Crows' team of the decade? Mark Bickley. Incorrect, Chris McDermott. How many times did Nigel Smart win All-Australian selection? Five. Incorrect. Three. In what year did Peter Vardy first play for the Crows? 1995. Incorrect. 1996. Which Crow has kicked the most goals in a finals match? Pass. How many times in the 1990s did Adelaide make the finals? Three. Correct. In the Crows' first season, who defeated them by the largest margin? St Kilda. Correct. In what year was Rod Jamison voted best team man? 1991. Incorrect. 1995. Who was Adelaide's first best and fairest player? Mark Micken. Correct. How many games did Adelaide win in their first AFL season? Seven. Incorrect. Ten. How many goals in total did Darren Jarman kick in the 97 and 98 grand finals? Eleven. Correct. The Crows' highest score in a finals match was against which team? Western Bulldogs. Correct. How many goals and behinds did they kick in the 1998 grand final? Pass. Who were the two interchanges for the first game of the Crows' first season in 1991? Rod Jamison and Eddie Hocking. Correct. Where did Adelaide finish on the ladder at the end of the 1996 season? 12th. 
Correct. Which crow has kicked the most goals in a finals match? Tony Montra. Incorrect. Andrew McLeod. How many goals and behinds did they kick in the 1998 grand final? Buzzer beat you, mate. You can't answer that, unfortunately. If you're playing at home, it was 15-15, but a real good effort from the challenger tonight. He's given the champion something to look at. I've got the feeling then in that quarter that there was a couple of questions that you were trying to decide whether you could afford the time to actually work the answer out or whether you just had to have a stab at it. Yeah, there was a couple of questions I knew I'd got it wrong uh, just after they came out of my mouth, which is a bit disappointing because <laughs> I knew what the right ones were. Oh, mate, well, you've, um, you've fought back strongly there. You've answered 11 correctly, so there's not much of the difference. It's 20 to 15. You can go back to the challenge corner. And we've just spoken to one of our adjudicators. Apparently, we did make a mistake with that Matthew Liptak question. There is no Tony Liptak. It was Matthew Liptak that was uh, voted the club champion in 1996. That good news for you it means you pick up another point. So you've moved to 16. You're only four points adrift. Half time in the battle for the belt, and we've got a cracking contest on our hands. Jonathan is only four points away, with Daniel leading the way 20 points to 16. Now a question for the trivia buffs at home as we play What Happened Next? The feature event at the 1954 Empire Games in Vancouver was The Mile, featuring Australian John Landy and Englishman Roger Bannister. They were the only athletes to have broken four minutes and the race was dubbed The Mile of the Century. Came with only 100 yards to go. Only 100 yards to go as Landy looked back over his left shoulder for Bannister and Bannister broke around his right. If you answered that Landy looked over his left shoulder as Bannister overtook him on his right to go on and win the race, then you are a genius. Time now for the third quarter of Head to Head. This is the big one, folks. This is the all-important Premiership quarter. Our competitors go head-to-head. -to -head. Two minutes of questions. Still one point for a correct answer, but now there's a one-point penalty if you get it wrong. We'll put two minutes on the clock and we'll get started. By the way, Jonathan, nobody's been beaten if they lead at the end of this quarter. Something to think about. 20 points to 16 at the moment. It's a good contest tonight, folks. Your time starts now. In which city is Japan's Formula One Grand Prix held? Jonathan. Suzuka. Correct. Michael Klim has a tattoo on his shoulder in a tribute to which band? <laughs> Foo Fighters. In which sport is Ruben Oliveri's a famous name? <laughs> Boxing. In what year was it announced that Sydney would host the Olympic Games? Daniel. 1993. Correct. Which city is home to American football team, the 49ers? Jonathan. San Francisco. Correct. Who said this when asked about pressure on the cricket field? Pressure? Keith Miller. Wait for your name to be Sorry. called, Daniel, it's correct. Pressure? Pressure is the Mischa Schmidt up your ass. In 1968, who became the first English club to win the European Cup? Daniel? Manchester United. Correct. What nationality is tennis star Rafael Nadal? Jonathan? Chilean. Incorrect. Spanish. How many Melbourne Cup winners did TJ Smith train? Two. In the 2005 AFL Grand Final, who took the last match winning? Daniel? Leo Barry. Correct. True or false, England has an annual downhill cheese rolling event. Jonathan. True. Correct. The Vince Lombardi Trophy is awarded, Jonathan. NFL. Incorrect. Super Bowl. Which nation thrashed Australia in Rugby League's Tri-Nations Final in Jonathan? New Zealand. Correct. Which cricketer holds the record for the most test runs in a calendar year? Jonathan. Ricky Ponting. Incorrect. Viv Richards. Which country beat Australia in the Davis Cup tie in Mildura in 19... Daniel? Zimbabwe. Correct. At which Olympics did Jeff Fennick lose a controversial... Daniel? Los Angeles, 1994. Correct. The Golden Slipper is run over what distance? 1,200 metres. Who won the men's marathon at both the 1960 and the 1964 Olympic Games? John... Daniel? A Betty Bikila. Correct. With which sport would you associate the name Ryan Bailey? Jonathan? Cycling. Correct. Who is president of the Hawthorne AFL? Daniel? Jeff Kennis. Correct. Which American did Robert Allenby beat in a playoff in the 2000? Siren sounded. That was a good round. Haven't looked at the leaderboard yet, but I know it was pretty fiery out there. Put your hands together for the contestant and the challenger. 
It is three-quarter time in the battle for the belt tonight and the score is Daniel, our defending champion, on 28 points, leads Jonathan on 18. Polish-American sprinter Stella Walsh won the gold medal in the 100 metres at the 1932 Olympics. Four years later at the Berlin Games, she ran second behind Helen Stevens, who won the event in world record time. Believing there was no way a woman could run that fast, Walsh accused Stevens of being a man. A quick inspection disproved the claim, and there the matter appeared to lie, until 1980. That year, Stella Walsh was tragically shot dead an innocent bystander during an armed robbery. The autopsy revealed that while Helen Stevens may not have had male genitals, Stella Walsh did. Very happy to have won this title. We've rounded the corner. We're into the home stretch. It's time for the fourth and final quarter on Head to Head. <laughs> Ten points for difference. This is it. Time to sort this contest out once and for all. Everything is at stake here in the battle for the belt. There's now two points for a correct answer, a two-point penalty for a mistake, and the leaderboard looks like this. Daniel, 28. Jonathan, 18. You've never been run down in the final quarter. What's your tactic here, mate? Um, if, you, if I know the answer to the question, I'll hit this buzzer here, and then I'll give you the answer. <laughs> if you think you know the answer to the question, do you jump in? Um, I haven't done that for a while. Probably not since episode one of mine. What about you, Jonathan? You're trailing by 10. The 50-50s, are you going to give it a go? Yeah, why not? You have to, I think. Here we go, two minutes on the clock, your trail by 10. Your time starts now. Which Australian cricket captain scored 311 against Daniel? Bob Simpson. Correct. Starting with C, which is the only country not to win a gold medal while hosting the Summer Olympics. Jonathan. Canada. Correct. In what country did Taekwondo originate? Daniel. Korea. Correct. Which country hosted the first Winter Olympics? Daniel. France. Correct. With which sport would you associate the name Annika Sorenstam? Jonathan. Golf. Correct. In the Olympic opening ceremony, which nation's athletes enter the stadium? Jonathan. The host nation. Incorrect. Enter the stadium first. It's Greece. Which has the most players, a field hockey team or an ice hockey team? Jonathan. Field hockey. Correct. When Rafter and Philippoussis played the US Open final, it was the first All-Aussie final since Ken Rosewall beat who? Jonathan. John Newcomb. Incorrect. Tony Roach. In, which, in what sport did Russell Mark win gold at the... Jonathan? Shooting. Correct. In what country did squash originate? Jonathan? Uh, Great Britain. Correct. At the 2006 Allen Border Medal, who won the Test Cricketer of the... Jonathan? Ricky Ponting. Incorrect. Shane Warne. In which sport did Leonie Nichols and Amanda Laird compete as a duet at the Athens Olympics? Daniel? Synchronised swimming. Correct. In what country was Tiger Woods' mother born? Daniel. Thailand. Correct. Who is the patron saint of skiers? Jonathan. Saint Bradman. Incorrect. Saint Bernard. <laughs> In what sport is the term bloop single used? Jonathan. Hands to the tossing. <laughs> Baseball. In 2005, which country won the Gulf World Cup in Portugal? <laughs> Wales. In outdoor polo, how many players are on a team in play? Daniel. Four. Correct. In what sport would you go to a basho? Sumo wrestling. What was Jack Bradman's occupation before driving professionally? Out of stab, boys, it was a motor mechanic. The siren has sounded, I think, put Jonathan out of his misery. Pretty good effort by Jonathan, but the champion remains for another week. <laughs> Let's have a look at the leaderboard for confirmation. The final score sees Daniel, another negative split by him, coming home with a wet sail. 40 points to Jonathan's 18. <laughs> so bad luck, Jonathan. You talked it up big in the end. I think the hot seat may be a little bit of intimidating for you. Uh, not really, no. Oh, mate. <laughs> I'm this... just not very smart. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you are. Well, mate, you, you put in a pretty good effort. Best of luck. Thanks for competing. We have to ask you to hit, hit the sheds and be on your way. Thanks for being a part of the fun. Well, Jonathan leaves us without the belt, but he does pick up a gift voucher to use at any ABC shop. Daniel, once again, you're back for another week. You've earned the right to hold up that head-to-head -head championship belt. 
Show it off, mate. I know you love to do it. There he is, folks. That's your champion for another week. And Daniel will return next week to try and defend his title. We'll see you then. Good night.